Before we start this episode, I feel like I need to address something. Miles has a new haircut and we don't talk about it. Did we not care? Did we not like it? No, we will be discussing it next week, but I felt in my heart that the man on the street waits for no one. Enjoy. Ramble. Do I look like the Unabomber? Nah. I'm a little worried that with my hood up and my sunglasses on, I look like a shifty character. Like if you were to sketch mm. me in a police station, oh. it would sort of be he like... Mostly nose and hoodie. <laughs> <laughs> oh my wow. gosh. That was one of the most devastating... I mean, it... Okay. You well, have covered up most of your features with hair. Welcome to the Tripod. We are out in the world. Uh, if you hear the hum of the highway behind us, that is the freeway. We're uh, we're out. We're doing man on the street. Ooh, vroom, vroom. We're going to talk to people and ask them. Well, we're do? not sure yet. We are live from Los Angeles. Well, mm -hmm. no, they're listening to a recording. Oh, that's right. <laughs> so we're, we're not live, live now, but we won't be when we you are listen. We're not live. We're always live when we record it. That's a good point. I feel less than live. Yeah, we well, you got your team. I mean, I'm, I'm tell loving you, your shirt, though. Yeah, I got the Hand Montana shirt rocking. Um, it's uh, allergy season here in Los Angeles, and it hit me like a ton of bricks. Hmm. I, I'm getting like more fatigued by the moment just standing out here. Yeah. Though I do, who fuck me, because who cares what I have to say? I see our potential first well, interview. We don't, have, we don't know what our questions so, Really are quick, I want to speed run test all around. sorts of men on the street. Okay. So okay. We're, We first, can't all stare at these people. Sorry. Uh, they're making them uncomfortable. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> We're all, they stopped walking and kind of turned away from us and they're just standing they still. Should. Well, if I sort of, yeah. if I ha keep my hood up and my sunglasses on, then it almost looks like I'm not even here. I'm invisible. Oh. That's a great point. If I can't see anybody they're that well, like, what, what, what is that what floating gonna, nose? What are we going to ask? <laughs> How dick fucking do you? <laughs> okay, that's enough. <laughs> um, Take off your hat and duck towards the camera, <laughs> my friend. So there's a few avenues we could take. First of all, we have to be asking... Excuse me, do you know who Zach Kornfeld is? Oh, have I you hate that. You have to do Don't that. Don't you do that. Do you know who the dry guys are? Come on, Zach, that's so oh, fucking funny. I hate funny. that. I just, I just like vomited in my butt. Are you, you have to do that. Me? I'll do it. I'll I'm do happy it. to yeah. do it. It could be like Billy I'll on the street. your butt. That is so embarrassing. <laughs> I hated Let's that. Linger I hated on that. That was hated fucking that. disgusting. That is Vomit on my butt. I do think we should ask people if they know uh, the difference between uh, Zach Kornfeld and Keith Habersberger. Yeah. Do you know the difference? What if we ask people, hi, do you subscribe to Perfect Person? Okay, well, obviously they're going to say no, but it's less embarrassing for me because you're more popular. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we could be like, hey, do you know uh, who Jake Paul is? Because he's right here. And then I'll come out like this. <laughs> Maybe we should ask, hey, hey, bro, who's, who's <gasps> the like, best Whoa! Like, who's the best YouTuber they who's, can think of? Who's your favorite YouTuber? Hi, and then we could call them because hi, we're doing a community census. Yeah. yeah. Do you like the internet? And if so, why? Who's your I like YouTuber? that idea a lot, actually. Who's your favorite tuber? Who's your favorite tuber? Potato or other? Potato or sweet? Keith is gonna handle the potato questions. Uh, Keith will snag Great. potato questions, and I'll sort of go for uh, the potatoes. Do you know who Zach Kornfeld is? I have a Can Which I ask you, ask you a question? The podcast? You're okay. thinking about it. I'm just gonna he's, ask he's you. He's thinking about it. One question. He wants to come? You you get him on, get him on the show, come. man. It's not a prank show. It's actually a very meek program. <laughs> All right, there's four boys, they're and they're sort of, of hanging out, out but they don't want to get on the show. It. He's got Dolce, just going to ask you a question about Dolce YouTube. and Gabbana sneakers. Yeah, we'll get the next one, huh? Yeah, Anyways, really no, they're not cool going to come over. What, they, they are cool. Can I ask, not what, what about our approach? Jesus, sick. <laughs> What about our approach Jesus was maybe You're not feedback? Right. Like, it's like don't get feedback this early on the show. <laughs> hey, well, I just we didn't con we didn't convert a customer. It smells good right now. It's because you look like a it does smell delicious. It smells like <laughs> delicious food. Yeah. I'm so glad that the smell interrupted what would be a devastating burn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Why don't we test out some of our questions on each other? Yes. That's a great point. So uh, so uh, yeah. excuse me, sir. Uh, mm -hmm. do you know who Zach Kornfeld is? That fucking Dickwad oh stole my, my lunch. Oh. Are you, okay, I mean, Ooh. are you being me? Because you did steal my <laughs> lunch that one time. No, no I stole, your, oh, stole Keith. your lunch. Yeah, but I don't feel bad about Keith doing it. I wasn't. I didn't even steal it. It was stolen and gifted to me. That's true. In a lot of ways, it was Zach's fault. Do you know who Zach Corfield is? I feel like the answer is going to be no. And is that going to burn <laughs> you? Do you, will you feel sad about that, or will you kind of just be like, "Hey, that's life." Sort of, because you have a New York accent because you grew mm. up in the heart of the city, Westchester. Hey, that's life. <laughs> I don't know that I don't. I'm guys. I'm so sleepy from the allergies. I got pass. 
You have allergies? <laughs> yeah, seasonal. <laughs> Ugh. All right. How about, um, excuse me, do you have time for a quick question? I do. <laughs> um, Sorry, I'm in a bit of a rush. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a bit of a rush. I actually am on the way to the hospital. Oh, no. I have an infection of the bladder. You think they would share that? I have a bladder infection, and I need to be rushed to the hospital for an urgent UTI inspection. Oh. Um, heart heart broke or heartbroken? Heartburn or, heart or heart problems? What, what, I'm sorry. What, what is, is the question? The question is heartbreaker or heartbroken? Oh, I like that. Mm -hmm. Are you heartbroken or are you heartbreaker? <laughs> heartbroken or heartbroken? Heartbroken. In, in your last relationship, did you break up with them or did you get dumped? That's a devastating question because no matter <laughs> who we're talking to, it's a de it's like it's sad. Oh, I broke up. Or yeah. actually, I'm happily married. Oh, what was that? There, I guess that is in the, the relationship, last relationship before that. Yeah, Only I was one. dumped by the one who got away. Really? Well, and now I'm you're happily married. <laughs> and now I'm happily married. Ooh, let's think about this. Actually, we'll all dumped, go around. He yeah. dumped her in a coffee shop on, over the phone. My la uh, yeah, but I did other people where it just kind of fizzled. Mm -hmm. It was like, like, oh, it fizzled. And then I met Sarah. Oh my gosh, somebody's coming. Somebody's coming. Should we ask him if they want to be on a podcast? No, I don't think. I'm not too scared. You don't think so? You want to be on a podcast? No, he's no, all good. He doesn't want to. Zach asked. He said no. Hey guys, I was scared uh, of him because he approached. Episode. I didn't see maybe him hitting anything, but he was blowing out smoke, which is very confusing to me and scary. So I didn't want to ask him a question. You think he was sort of a demon? He was boy? just breathing. He just smoke. had smoke inside his lungs. Maybe. Or he like took a hit a long time ago. Was holding it as long as he could. Now, guys, I mean, um, yeah, we're so out here, tough. and we have to wonder. I didn't plan for this. I didn't plan for wonder. nobody wanting to be on. I know. Well, it, you, they, they make it look so, so easy on TikTok. They really do. It seems do. like it's a hundred percent retention. Well, they they're, being like, more, they're being more annoying. They go to like Venice Beach, where people want to be. They want to see weird stuff. We're, we're outside standing, of a robex. We're standing juice. outside of a closed nothing. We're standing outside of a closed... Hey, what's up, gang? We're standing outside of a closed department store, and we're going to tell you everything we know. Get him, Keith. Uh, all right. <laughs> Keith obviously crushed that, but I'm about to be asking people what is the saddest you've literally ever been, oh okay? <laughs> Rainy. Oh, that's a good question. Yeah. <laughs> okay, since you want to talk, you love talking about a, a breakup. Oh, yeah. I want you to channel your most devastating heartbreak moment. What did you do for that week to kind of get through the pain? Mm. Yeah, that's a good question. Oh, that's interesting. I mean, I am not broken. I was not broken up with a lot, to be totally honest. Yeah, have, very cool. Have you been very heartbroken? Cool. Very cool. I have house. been heartbroken. When was the last time you were heartbroken? Yeah, so that's what I'm talking about. I what? feel like, though, the heartbreaks were often like, okay, I was in a relationship, and then it, like, fizzled, but it was never like a... We were not boyfriend-girlfriend. Oh, uh, you know I mean? no. I, I was in a... Really, I mean, my first girlfriend, we broke up, and I listened to Yesterday uh, by the Beatles all week long. Aww. You did? I was so sad. Yes. All oh, right. Man. That's awesome, Keith. I was 13. <laughs> We're doing the top 10 heartbreaks that you can feel <laughs> how did, throughout how your did, life. How did she break up with you? Well, unfortunately, she went to church <laughs> camp where she fell in love with somebody else. Oh. Jesus? Nope. Another guy named Andrew. It's tough for the other guy to be God. It wasn't God, it was Andrew. Oh, <laughs> I thought that was one of the apostles. Andrew's my God. <laughs> I mean, maybe he was, but it just a guy who's a saxophone player, went to a different school, but then they only ended up dating for a month. Saxophone she ruined our relationship of two years for some guy that wow. she's had a fling with for a month. And that's tough. Yeah, that was tough for her, but I moved on. We still don't know what question. I was about to ask someone if they wanted to talk, but I don't even know about yeah, what. Gotta, okay, what's, I'm your run favorite, the what's your favorite uh, sandwich? Okay. okay. I think that's good. That's pretty good. Wait, weren't we also going to ask what's your favorite YouTuber? Although, I don't know if that guy I think YouTuber's pretty good. Well, it depends we're on, on YouTube. It's the platform. We're supporting dad. Yeah, I we're also supporting have dad. some dollar bills if you think that would sweeten the deal. I love Rainy Wood. Yeah. Why Rainy you got petty cash. Get that money. For Honestly, dollar? answer a question for a dollar is definitely more enticing than, yeah. hey, hey, there's four of us. Can we, um, hey. No. Oh, yeah. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Excuse me. Can we all gang around you? There's also a lot of we're gonna us. I'm going to give each a dollar. Pull the Billy Eichner. Also, like, one of us should be the camera. It doesn't make any sense. We should probably play poop doll. Right? There's no cameraman. Yeah, I did think there's about no that. there's no producer with a clipboard. Have you guys ever played poop dollar? Like dollar. I've never played. I think it's a mean game. Uh yeah. I, I've I've seen a poop dollar in real life. What is that? You put poop on a dollar. Put it on the ground. Ooh. I've also seen the dollar it up where you reach they... for it and there's a fishing wire and you kinda drag That's it. That's a funny one. That's I've funny. never experienced that one, but I've seen poop dollars in real life. You know what, guys, actually? I wanna I'm sort of on that hope core mentality. 
I've always been on TikTok Hopecore. It's just devastatingly sweet videos mm -hmm. where it's people like seeing their lost, long lost family members or like a dog finally seeing its owner and it squeals and it makes you want to cry. Mm -hmm. So let's try to get some Hopecore content going yes. in this episode right now. We'll yes. just say, hey, we just want to let you know you're loved and we just give them a dollar. How about that? How is that for next one? That's great. Oh, I just want to let you know you do a, you're loved. Here's a single dollar you can buy nothing with because everything's <laughs> fucking so expensive. Do you want to do a trial run and maybe I'll walk by and then you'll see me and you'll kind of say a really nice thing about me? Hey, I love your hat, right, man. Hold on, I got to Yeah, I that's good. Do, yeah, yeah, you got to do, do the whole run. character. <laughs> I think that, you know what is the problem? On TikTok, you see all sorts of clips of people yeah. doing this type of shit, but they're fucking asshole, like, yeah. idiot frat boys that are like, who's your body count? And then they like, get in their face. Yeah. And we're trying to do this in a polite, friendly, kind way. And, and I got to say, work. we don't have the stomach for it. <laughs> we, have, yeah. we are not prepared. There's, there's too many of us. Oh. Maybe there's too many. Can we wave or is well, he he came in quick. Wait, I can't tell if he's waving at me or not. I was going to wave, but I didn't want that embarrassing moment. A lot of people smoking cigarettes. Yeah. <laughs> Do we get into cigarettes as a podcast? <laughs> <laughs> Tripod <laughs> tries cigarettes. Tripod smokes cigarettes. <laughs> The Try Guys try smoking cigarettes, and, and it's just, just a burner video it. on the on yeah. like the, the Patreon. I've never smoked a cigarette, so I don't even know what it feels like. Is that true? You've never smoked, never a, cigarette? smoked a cigarette. I, this is <laughs> I, this is a bad influence. I was about to be like, do you want to go get your first? <laughs> Well, when we were at the Olivia Rodrigo Rainy concert, would hate it. remember when Olivia was like, "I bought cigarettes," and everyone was like, "Okay, so <laughs> just I'm not gonna smoke them. I just bought them." And we're like, we're like "No, okay, okay. Olivia." No no Olivia Rodrigo man. said she bought when she turned eighteen. Yeah, she's like, "Well, no, no 21. She turned twenty-one, and we're like, you, could, you know, you've been able to do that for, for years. Three years. <laughs> That's what I did when I was eighteen. I bought a pack of Black and Milds. Hey, all right, Rainy. Have you ever uh, bought hey, a pack hey, of Miles. cigarettes? The South Black bought and Miles. cigarettes? Yeah, maybe you should go buy back. This is a crazy. We have to cut this. <laughs> We can't hey, encourage. Rainy, we should have you smoke cigarettes on the podcast. <laughs> I love that. I want that. Imagine that thumbnail where we have um, all of the cigarettes in our mouth, like do 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 do. Oh, oh yeah. Like once. Yeah. <laughs> Instantly canceled. I can't believe I haven't brought this up. I had a dream about us last night. Us. The plot. You did. Yeah, what we, were we went doing? to the train museum, and then we were sitting in the train, and then Keith said. He was like, let's go. I, he was like, I'm going to start driving. And I was like, oh, okay, I thought you were kidding. Started driving. We got in so much trouble. We drive one of the trains? Yeah. But then Keith, we wrote a nice so little naughty. apology. And the girl was nice. We wrote an apology? Yeah, we wrote like handwritten cards. By that point, you were gone and I was with oh, my so like, interesting. family friends. Excuse, Excuse me. me. Could I pay you a dollar for to ask you a question on our podcast? <laughs> that's okay. Have a good day. By the way, you absolute sweetie, the way you did that. You I did loved it very it. kind. Well, that's my customer service voice. I so use really good. <laughs> but in real life, I talk like this. What's up, Playa? <laughs> that's not I how you are. We might need to go to a younger <laughs> demographic is what I'm wondering. <laughs> What's Some the people better demographic? Are more... the, the, the Ralphs? The, the, we go into the IHOP? Yeah. I mean, while we wait, I've got some... Um, here's a question. Yeah, please. I'm going to say over, under, we're going to do a bracket of the best stores. So it's going to be H&M versus... Mm. Look at <laughs> 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 Rainy, Rainy uh, that's insane. Robux juice. No, you can't. And by the way, Robux juice can't be that. It's big also of a like chain. it's not everywhere. That's true. So most okay, listeners H &M will be like, "What the hell 21. is that?" H and M or Forever. H and M. H and M. Hey, can we ask I'm... you a question on our podcast? Well, thank oh, you. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Hero. Here, come right here. Hello, Actually, come right you in the middle. Us? Come right in the middle. I think I do. Okay, oh, really? okay, that's huge. Oh, that's amazing. This here. is such a relief. Uh, here's your dollar. You get three dollars. <laughs> you get three. <laughs> Take three dollars. We're over One dollar. Okay. <laughs> okay. You need to stand right here. Our question. Stand there. Stand right there. And face this way. And then we're gonna face this way. There you go. At that camera. Now, first of all, what's your name? My name is Justin Fujimoto. Just oh, put the mic in his face. No, sorry. No, do it, do it. It makes me feel important. All right, yeah. This is our first. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, this is our first our man first on the catch. street interview we've done today. Uh, so <laughs> we're just trying to improve. If you have any notes for us at the end, great. Yeah. What do you think that we should ask you about? No, of course. Uh, well, what do you guys value? Oh fuck. That's, <laughs> that's a really good question. I think I value honesty. I value mm -hmm. positivity. Yeah. Okay. And I value everyone having a good time. We're making YouTube videos, so right. it needs to have like it needs to be buzzy and informative or exciting. Or One is of those that things. What you value? I value the company doing well, and that relies on us making videos that have entertaining, clicky titles. Good answer. Good answer. That's yeah. a wonderful answer. Yeah. What do you value? I mean, I personally, I value integrity a lot, and I value people. I think people are very important. I think that we should always yes. try to put them first. What does integrity mean to you? Because I feel like that's one of those words that's like. Yeah, it's very broad. So, um, integrity to me it means that um. You say something and you hold like you hold up your end of what you say mm. and that while you you say you have values and you, of course, like uphold them. 
Justin, yes. my jaw is dropping. Justin, you would be smarter than all four of us. Spoken person. Uh, yeah, you guys are like way, way more successful than I am. So. Oh my no. god. But I used to not be. Can you believe that? Neither was I. <laughs> now you are. Well, what do you uh, what do you do here in Los Angeles? Uh, I live here. I work here. Um, I was gonna go to the gym, but like my trainer like pushing an hour ahead. So nice. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. Get That's your some pump time on. To kill. Well, Justin, before we go, I simply have to ask, well, what's your favorite sandwich? My favorite sandwich from Sprouts right over there. Wow. The number five roast beef. Amazing. Great macros. And it's really cheap. It's like seven bucks. Wow. wow. Justin, thank you for being on the show. Wow. I really we go appreciate get that it. Sandwich? You're the best, nice Justin. You. You're getting a second dollar. He, wow. That's right, <laughs> Justin. Oh, this is going straight to the bank. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> Deposit. Thank, oh, you. Thank, you. thank you so much for talking to us. Wow. Thanks. I feel like that was maybe the best guest we'll ever get. And Should I don't we, even know that we fully took advantage. Should we go buy the sandwich? I do feel like. <laughs> <laughs> it's right there. That's a good uh, main channel video. Is what's your favorite sandwich? You get the yeah. sandwich at the place. Oh, actually, oh yes, gosh, but you have yes, to answer absolutely. questions. Okay, I gotta answer questions, Sienna. Sienna. Uh, I first was of worried. All, yeah. Welcome to the podcast. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. How are you guys feeling? Good. Okay. Tell me about the nose piercing. How did that happen? Um. Oh, well, it just happened. It didn't hurt. So. Okay. Oh really? <gasps> never seen one this high up yeah there's on the just nose. two separate ones but oh. didn't hurt too bad whoa oh. zach knows all about it yeah zach oh. just got his ear pierced got, nose pierced a while ago and he took my it out pierced but I, really? I took it out after 12 hours you didn't see that video no sadly i did not see it i'm very sorry about that <laughs> that's okay what's your favorite sandwich <laughs> my favorite sandwich probably a blt yeah a BLT. Oh, good, answer. Answer. Good, answer. good answer really good answer i've seen it keith eats the menu i've seen that for sure and let Hell me tell yeah. you about what happened to me this weekend this is a prompt for a story you nailed it i was at a place that had only breakfast sandwiches <laughs> and i asked for a blt and they said we can't make that and i'm like Huh. Do you serve bacon? They say yes. It's like you have toast on the menu. Yes. And it's like, and this other sandwich that you do sell has lettuce and tomato. And they say yes. It's like, so you can't make me BLT. No. <laughs> you you could customize it. Be like, I want a bacon wrap. <laughs> add lettuce. I, sub I, cheese. I asked if I could have the bacon breakfast croissant. Remove the croissant and the egg and <laughs> add bread. And they said we can't do that. And I said, but you have it all. Oh, you wow. have everything. And they refused. I was in an airport. In an airport too. They couldn't give you a sandwich before your flight. <laughs> That's, That's terrible. So, Sienna, you said that you watched uh, Keith Eats the Menu about bacon, but you haven't watched the season of Canna Competition? Oh, no, <laughs> not yet. I'm very sorry. I've that's been all right, very Sienna. busy with school, so I just try and throw something on in the background. Oh, that's what, so are you, cool. what are you studying? What are you studying? I'm, gonna go, I'm going to school to be a teacher, so right now I'm just oh. in like basic classes, yeah. psychology, yeah. Oh things like that. Both my parents are teachers. Oh, really? Yeah. Are yeah. they high school teachers, middle school teachers? Uh, my, both my parents are ele elementary school oh, for wow, a long that's, time. That's really nice, yeah. yeah. New teacher coming into the field yes. to help others. We all <laughs> yeah. at you. What's yeah, your dream grade to teach? Dream grade to teach? Or would it be a subject? Like, I don't know. Probably around like eighth grade high school. Oh, yeah. That's when they get. That's when they get tough. Yeah, I had a tough time in high school, and I had really bad teachers. So yes. Hopefully, I can help support other kids that were my age going through that. Oh, that's that. the best! Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Sandy, you're I mean, awesome. yeah. What? Well, never mind. Well, well I'll do a different <laughs> one. Um, okay, text or call. Text or call. Text for sure. Okay. But Ready? I know don't, don't respond to text. <laughs> I don't like calling. It feels like an invasion of my privacy. It's like, yeah. why are you doing this? Oh, yes. I'm such a yeah. caller. I know. Maybe that voice makes me... note. Yes or no. I love voice notes. Voice notes all the way. Voice notes over texting. Ooh. Voice notes over text. Oh yeah. Over texting. I, love the voice I can get note. the the podcast. energy. What's going on? So you're chopping up a call into a brief yeah. little segments. Yeah. And, and you're not on the spot. Yeah. You don't have to think fast about yeah. what, what you you're going to say. You have to find a quiet place to listen to it. Let's say if you're out somewhere, you're like, well, I can't just play this and not have everybody hear my private conversation. Yeah. Original three Pokemon ranked. Um. Not too much into Pokemon, not too much into that, but probably Charizard. They're pretty cute. Good answer. Charizard, Charizard is definitely the cutest. Yeah. Charizard's yeah. a cutie. Um, well, uh, as our final question, what do you value? What do I value? <laughs> I value friendship and people having respect for others and themselves. Hell yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Thank yes. you so much. I and, you want to get a photo? You I wanted, uh, and I wanted to give you and a we dollar. We have to pay you a dollar. <laughs> Thank you so much. Just because we, we, don't, we don't like people getting not paid for their work here. Yeah. That's right. we got to be paying a dollar. Thank you guys. Here, you get to I'll take a big selfie of all of us. Oh, yeah. If the, yeah, let's do selfie, selfie mode. I'll do. Thank you guys so much. I Thank hope you had that. Thank you. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. You. So okay, sweet. we're going to get the sandwich. We're going to get the salad. <laughs> okay, Keith, we just had lunch. No, but we have to do it for the entertainment. <laughs> you think I you think I stop eating just because I'm full for entertainment? I Do you know me? No, I, I understand that, Keith. I have a, I worry sometimes I eat too much and I go out with people who don't eat that much. And oh. I'm sure you know the feeling of everyone being like, whoa, I'm stuffed. And I'm like, I'm not even close. I know, I'm nowhere there. <laughs> I'm not even close, honey. Yeah. You do not know how to satisfy me. When you're doing a thing where you're all <laughs> when you're all sharing the food, the order yeah. family style, yeah. and you're like, we should probably get some more. And I was like, I'm actually kind of done. And I'm like, 
So we don't want to get so any more. And then like, I wouldn't go get ice cream. I'm like, I don't want ice cream. I want more dinner. I also have all these like, people are like, oh, we're going to have too much food. Mm. Have Leftovers. You, sorry. Yeah. Do you not know that I'm going to leave no scraps? Yeah. yeah. There's nothing to, no such thing. I also really don't like trying to fill up on sweets. Like if I'm still a little hungry and it's like, well, dessert's coming, then I'm going to feel sick. Yeah. Well, I also, I'm always in this position where I feel like I'm like, okay, halftime at dinner. I'm always looking at, especially when you're ordering for the table, halftime, halftime. at dinner comes around. I'm looking at everything on the table and I'm going, what's going to keep the best in the fridge tomorrow? Yeah. True. So I go, anything crispy. I got to eat that. I got to oh, prioritize. Like, okay. Well, that only has a quarter of itself left. I should just kill that dish. Yes. And save yep. the thing that has 45% of itself left for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I love that math. Yes. It's, it's tomorrow food math. Or if it's like shrimp. No way no, that's going to be good tomorrow. Lasting. You got to eat, eat that. You now, eat what that are your thoughts on you're eating a sandwich and you're maybe you're full and you're done and there's like a nub eating left it. and it's like four or five gotta bites. Eat it. Absolutely. Oh, five eating bites? It. Eating. Yeah, you're eating it. I'm <laughs> eating it. I don't leave much on the table. Yeah. I, I, I like I bear to it all. have a little bit of a sandwich nub left over sometimes. Oh, uh, a nub. Just an a little. S nub? <laughs> a snub? A snub? I just, I don't like to leave it all out on the table. I like to devour and conquer so that way, I'm not like wondering. I wonder what it would have been like if I stuffed myself raw. Raw. Um, okay, I've got some questions. So next time we know exactly, we have a wealth of things to choose from. Well, how do you okay. think we did so far? We we talked to two guests. I think we did great. We've only done well so far because they were they were people. They They've who been we were. so nice. What if we go? I love the value question. That was really beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Nice. MVP. I'm curious, you guys, how long do you think we've been recording? Yeah, it feels like an hour, minutes. but it's got to be 20 minutes. 40 minutes. Yeah, it's tw 25. How long? 25. Yeah. Wow, I can't wow. believe we're and not. Ten of that's not even usable. <laughs> yeah. Miles, hit us with some advice. No. Nope. <laughs> you know what else? say too i think a good question we go up to people they come up and we go jake paul or logan paul i think that's funny no but i don't want to make them have to pick one can i make a <laughs> confession is that i watched a tiktok clip of logan paul in the wwe and he's a star and i was yeah he's a star well no he, that's he what he's supposed to be there. doing he belongs okay. there because yeah. he's cocky and mm -hmm. then he gets the shit kicked out and of he's him. ripped yeah and he's also like He's like an Ohio boy that used to, you know, beat beat his brother up in his backyard, right? Like it makes sense. Like they have the, that ability, yeah, to just take hits. That's part of it. I don't think I'd be good at getting hit. He did save Rey Mysterio's practice? life. <laughs> well, would it be from you or Keith? That was kind of cool. I feel like you, I could take super punch. Kicked him. <laughs> that was really <laughs> embarrassing for Zach. He said super punch, and he sort of did a kick and a light super punch. He did a light punch all in one. <laughs> have you seen the video online around. of the guy? Accidentally uh, roundhouse kicking somebody in the head. How do you accidentally do that? It, he, it's <laughs> just a crazy video. People in the comments will know what I'm talking about. I can't Shout wait to see out it. in the comments. I'm getting kind of tired. <sighs> this always happens in the second episode. Maybe I left we get my some... water in the... I think should I get some wheatgrass sandwich. shots at the, oh, yeah! at the oh. Bobeco Juice? We can do some wheatgrass shots on the company for the huge. company? Yeah. Maybe I'll... I'm going to go. Oh. You're, you're oh, yeah, it makes way more sense for Zach to go. <laughs> I just feel like you're kind of doing a really good job this episode, Miles. Really? Aww. Yeah. Guys, that's Keith. awesome to hear. And Keith, I, what's your body count? <laughs> uh, that means how many people I've slept with? I'm going to go. Yeah. I'm going to go. How many I'm people has, go. Zach's how many people? You know what I'll say? How many people do you guys, because this is like a less salacious question, yeah. how many people do you think you've kissed? A lot. A lot. Let's go. <laughs> I mean, I will say a lot of the people that you are like, oh, yeah, I dated a guy. You need a card. It's your goddamn company. I don't have a wallet on me. This guy is like... Have you ever thought, you guys thought of, about doing a try tank Where instead oh. of Shark Tank, it's things people want to try. Do you people green light one of them? Tries. Yeah, that's you pick a good tries, idea. And you have to do it with them. Oh, that's a great... Well, have, we have a similar show the premise like that. Oh, yeah. But is it Shark Tank style? And I kind of like that. Shark Tank is funny because it's also like... Well, I wonder... What's the negotiation? <laughs> I'll take 10% of the try. Like how much you're willing to participate. This girl came into park and she just, I think she's leaving. Oh no, she's just adjusting. She's parking better. She actually, honestly, she parked really, she honestly not... parked really well the first time. And I think she actually did a worse job the second time. I do think that honestly, there's something, nothing more anxious than trying to do a good job at parking with people watching I me. Know. Oh my gosh. And I live can't. commenting. I cannot Once handle. I parallel parked though and I did a really good job and there was an old guy across the street and when I came out of the car, he said, perfect. Oh, that's so nice. I, I love was, that. Because I did do a perfect job, and it was like a tight spot, and I did ex I, I did the one yeah. the one swift pull. That's awesome. Oh, and yeah. he was like, perfect. 
And I've I was been, like, thank you. Yeah, I've been really craving an award recently because I went award? to my grandparents' like retirement community, and as um, we were in an elevator with someone, and my grandpa was like, "Congrats on the award for doing the aerobics, doing a really good job of the aerobics. You really deserved it." And I was like, "They give it awards, awards for aerobics? Yeah. Well, if you're if you're competing in an aerobics competition." Well, right. yeah, I think it's just like she she went there every day or something, and she did it the most. But I'm like, normalize more awards. In I like the idea life. of getting a, a participation trophy. Yeah, yeah, maybe we should have like a little our own award show. I think that'll be so fun. The we, tri we, awards. We could do a tripod award show. I think that's a great idea. Yeah, that's a really good idea. And the categories are uh, uh best best bits. Best, best bits bit <laughs> goes to miles. <laughs> Or Zach for his shark shirt bit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is it cumulative for all the years we've done the job? Yeah. And it's I probably also like Try Guys and the staff and like the whole thing. And then yeah. when we have a winner, we go and bring them yeah. in for two minutes to do a speech and then kick them out. Yeah. That's so funny. Give them a little thing. And yeah. Go, uh, I don't know what I'm in here for. Congratulations. Don't tell anybody out there what this is. I would like to, by the way, just do more carpeted events. We should make it that oh Desiree wins eight of them. And then That's Desiree keeps, keeps having to come back in and be like, thanks for... Desiree, I'm so sorry, but... From that one you, episode... You've won again. Come back in. <laughs> from the storage unit episode, you are raking it in. <laughs> um, Most organized. Desiree. It's got to be Desiree. It's definitely Let's Desiree. Give it up. All right, I'm going to run through some questions just so we know what we're going to say. Would you rather fight 100 duck-sized horses or one horse-sized duck? That one's a classic. That's a classic I'm seeing all that all, that all the way. Hunter-gatherer. Are you a hunter or a gatherer? I'm, I'm a, a hunter. I'm, of course, a hunter because I'm an entrepreneur and I hunt that cash, that cashish. I think I'm a gatherer. You're a gatherer? I think so. Do you think you're a gatherer? I think, I think so. I think so. I think I I, I gather all the the menu items. And I eat them. And then I eat them. But, but so I, it, that's a good I don't point. go get them myself. You don't hunt them. <laughs> I don't hunt them. I don't track them down. I set them all in front of me and then I appreciate each one. I think I'm a hunter. I think that is that for me. Randy, what do you think about you? I think I'm definitely a hunter because I don't know. It's just sort of an energy that I get for myself. You know, it's like, okay, I am a carnivore. You're like, where's this energy coming from? Oh, it's me. <laughs> it's <laughs> me. It's my inner world. It's my inner life. It's my inner world, et cetera. Um, what do you think of garden gnomes? I think it's a good fast one where we can just throw the mic. What do you think of garden gnomes? What do you think of the allegations against garden gnomes? <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea of surprising people with a controversy. Oh, yeah. Have you heard about what's going on with uh, Hillary Swank? Oh, I actually don't know what's going on with her. Do we have to not go into it because it's too, too risky? No, really, is it I a real made thing? She made it up. Oh, I don't even know who Hillary Swank is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like the idea of making up a controversy. Did you hear about what happened? <gasps> yeah. Yes. What are your thoughts on the last 24 hours? What are your thoughts on, uh, apparently, you've heard, of course, the allegations that Meryl Streep has been running a meth lab in Arizona. <laughs> I think that's good. Yeah, just People go, like, oh my God, really? You go, yeah, she just got busted. 400 tons. 400 of tons. What do you think her punishment should be? Yeah. What do you think her sentence should be? She's going to court tomorrow. You think she should get off? <laughs> What's the fine? What do you think? Yeah, the fine, a million. Million dollars? A million dollars to charity. It's nothing to Meryl. And you have to donate a million dollars to charity. For Meryl Streep to have a meth lab? I think I, she Have could. you heard that she might be dating Martin Short? Oh, that's cute. Isn't they say so they're just cute? friends, but it is really cute, the photos of them together. That would be adorable. I know. Hey, why can't they be in love? I know. Why not? I hope they I are. Know. <laughs> I love it when old people get together, huh? Oh my huh? gosh, there's nothing like it. You know what I also love? I love when two old people <laughs> are sort of just like sitting at a coffee shop playing like cards or chess. Or Is it sweet? It's sweet to be like, you guys are old friends. Like, that's fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Two old ladies just having coffee and a biscotti. Uh-huh. I know. I just went to see my grandparents and they're like telepathic. Like, my grandma can't hear that well. My grandpa is translating constantly and she can hear him, not me. Wow. Maybe really? She, wow. I think they're just on the same wavelength. Yeah, well, they know each other. They know each other They so know well. each other throughout their whole life. They've been playing lots of games. What do you guys want to do when you're old as shit, huh? Oh. Like, as, a, as an occupation or just my day-to-day? -day? Like, well, the idea, because to me, I actually feel like I never will want to fully retire because I mm -hmm. think that hopefully I'll be able to do varying degrees of something creative for the rest of my life. And yeah. even when I'm older, it'd be cool to be like, Oh, I record, like I'm oh, writing a screenplay. You know what I think I want to do? What's that? I want to play in a community band or orchestra. Oh, oh that's so, so fun. cute. You know? I love that, yeah. That'll give me a thing to go do. I like playing music. It'll keep my brain 
going. I'll be reading music, making sounds, being a, a small part of a bigger product. Mm. I, like I that. love, love community. playing in community bands. I'd like to be buff as hell, ideally, yeah. by that point. Because I was thinking about that recently. I was like, oh, I should start getting in shape now because when I'm 50, yeah. I want to have energy. Yeah. And I feel like I'm not in good shape now and my shoulders are so bad. That's why you did the 10 push-ups yesterday. You did 10 push-ups yesterday. Okay, Speak on that. What Keith is referring to is I did 10 push-ups. <laughs> I was doing 10 push-ups and Sarah called me out. She was spying on because, you. No, Sarah was spying on me with the video. And I just, the <laughs> proximity of what I was doing that was funny because I was doing push-ups. She goes, what are you doing? I was like, I just did 10 push-ups. She goes, where are you going right now? And I was going to the ice cream store. <laughs> but I was like, all right, I should do more push-ups. I stood up and I was literally about to walk out the door to go to the ice cream store. And uh, Sarah called me out. And, and you were like, just funny. one more thing. I mean, push-ups are really hard. I know I did 10. I, I could have done I 15. Think, I don't think I could do 10. Really? Yeah, I don't have a lot of upright strength. All my strength is in my lower body. I'm more fit yeah. than Keith. <laughs> I probably believe it. No, I actually do not think that's true. I feel like you work out more often than me. I do work out a lot, but I I've uh, I had to build my base first. We're only getting into a lot of upper body stuff. And yeah. push-ups require, I mean, first of all, I weigh a lot. So that's yeah. been really hard to do push-ups. Yeah. For real. I weigh yeah. like 205 pounds. Yeah. So, that's, so you got all that you know, weight. Starting with push-ups at 200 pounds is not, you know, you wouldn't start benching 200 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, it's very hard to start at the heavy weight. But, but I, like I, can, do, I can do some. Should we see how many I can do right now? Yeah, let's see how many. <laughs> oh, oh, this Zach's coming back looking like a hype beast somehow. He's Why looking, is that? He's very swanky. He got Hillary he, swanking. He got, right? so he's Hillary swanking with wheatgrass shots. Oh. Yeah, well, I'm gonna see yeah, this is so swing. thrilling. Something changed. I'm gonna see how many push-ups I can do. Keith's about to do push-ups here, and then and we're winner, see of the winner of the winner of the push-ups gets a, a shot. Two, Two three, three, four. four. We'll cut to the end. I like. The, I like the four. <laughs> so I got turmeric shots for everybody. Keith, you're keeping yeah. count. Six. For um, they were out of wheatgrass. <laughs> Seven. Let's go, Keith. And I remember the cayenne. Eight. We really Let's go, like. Keith. I'm Nine. not going to be able to Let's go, Keith. I'm 100% sure on that. 10. Let's go. Perfect. Woo! 10 is the perfect amount. It's a whole yeah. number. I'm we honestly very impressed with myself. Keith, you, you did great. I'll prove that we can do 10. Okay. I was, did 10. I was, well, you have a titanium shoulder. I don't know. Oh, that's a beautiful dog. Oh, my God. It's a beautiful dog. I think it's, he is that gorgeous. dog is sitting like a person. <laughs> Dog is dressed like a person. Dog is beautiful and sitting just perfectly. Okay, wheatgrass check. No, we only got turmeric apple shots because the, God wheat damn it, the wheatgrass was out and the cayenne pepper made us all, it was too much for yeah. us last time. Should we sit so I can put yeah. this down? Okay. Something, yeah, sure. Let's sit on the ground. <laughs> man on the street is really... Do a little, man on the street is now man on the squat. Friends on the ground. Yeah, but I'm, I'm shockingly... Oh, no! I'm <laughs> oh shockingly God. good at push-ups because of uh, yoga, doing all that downward dog, you know what I'm saying? Are you oh, a downward yeah. dog in the bedroom, Zach? Uh, we'll wait. We'll take your comment off the air. <laughs> Miles. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Keith. Miles, come on now. <laughs> sorry, We're sorry. just trying to be. Well, he just said he was a downward dog in the bedroom, and I just wanted he to didn't... check. No. He did. Am I. Did I make that up? Let's re rewind the tape. Uh, a couple stories from the store. First of all, I ordered. I said, I'll get two turmeric, two wheatgrass. And he said, there's no wheatgrass. And I said, in that case, I'm getting four turmeric. And he said, mm, my man. <laughs> then, <laughs> and that's what you you up. You were walking like yeah. you're in, You were like, oh, 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 like, oh my man. Then I got, then he gave me three. And I said, oh, uh, did I not order four? And he goes, ha, my bad. And he, This guy's cool. Yeah, he's cool. <laughs> I'm loving him. Uh, I'm loving his energy. But no, he was actually very oh. quiet and confused uh, the whole time. And I, I walk in and there was a poster for Wonka. Really? Oh. Timmy Chalamet. Is it a branded piece? There for... was a Fanta Phantasmagorical Flavor Sweepstakes. And oh, so wow. immediately I walk in, I see Wonka stuff everywhere. And I go, what is the Wonka flavor? And he looks at me and there's oh. a long silence. And I say, the, the Wonka flavor, what is it? And he turns and he looks up as if he's seeing this for the first time in his life. And he goes, huh. And I go, the, the flavor of the Wonka, what is it? And he goes, I don't, we don't do that. <laughs> what? <laughs> and I go, what do you mean? It's, it's like, on your and it, sign. He's like, I think it's just an advertisement. Oh. Whoa. I will say, I went to this. Um, we got to drink this shot. Yeah. It's just, we can't just keep leaving it open. Sorry. It's going to get bacteria immediately. Cheers. All right, you guys, I'm not cheers, Randy. Go cheers. Whoa. Mm. Oh yeah! yeah oh yeah! Of course, that's good. By the way, it's apple juice and turmeric. Kind of tastes like mustard. This is too sweet. Yeah. I want the caliente one. Yeah, the spicy. I think I'm. Uh, <laughs> I'm. I've been converted on Timmy Shells. 
okay, do you mean so, you didn't like him before? No, I just didn't believe that he could be everything, and now I realize he can do whatever he wants. I think recently I said I don't have a crush on him anymore, and I heard from an undisclosed source that he's actually cool. So, it's maybe bad. I'm he's, bad. I've heard that he's cool, too. Yeah. I'm going to tell you what. I saw Tune, which is what we're calling the second Tune. Yeah. It, it's out already? Yeah. And this you is weeks it? later, so it's so it's even more out. It's been oh. out. That boy, he, he can, can act. act. Oh, have you seen Beautiful Boy? Yeah, the, just the difference in him between Wonka yeah. and, and that, yeah. like, it's kind of insane. Well, this... Wonka's for the nieces and nephews, I think. Yeah, but he did them both. Well, no, of course. But I'm like, Wonka, he was probably like, I'm going to phone this in because it's for kids. And then dude. I'm sorry, you think he phoned in that performance? Of Wonka? How dare you? I haven't seen it. It's bad. <laughs> it is bad. So, so you do think you voted? But he's it. excellent. He he was fine. But beautiful boy, he's like maybe the best actor of all time. It's so fucking real and raw and intense. And Steve Carell good... really gets the best out of people. Yeah. Have you seen the movie? No. It's so fucking intense, but it's really good. And uh, yeah. if you want to cry, watch it. Very Which I think is yeah. good. Everyone should cry. Very cool. Oh, I definitely think everybody. Very should brave cry. of you to say. I feel you feel so much better if you cry. I'm standing up to toxic masculinity. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Zach, how many people have you kissed? I would have to count. <laughs> no, you want me to think no, no, no. I don't like the idea of you <laughs> thinking about your exes in front of me. I'm telling Maggie. Well, I didn't date them. I'm telling yeah. Maggie that Just you, you, you kissed thought about everyone it. you've kissed as a little Rolodex in your head. But you have to try to. I don't have count the number. What do you? I, well, how would I do with that? General. Forty-seven. Problem is, I went. You know, sometimes in college we had these like. Mardi Gras parties, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. People ended up kissing a lot. Yeah, no, that's I how... I kissed yeah. a couple people. Tell it's me about college. that. You play spin the bottle, everyone kisses. It was just like, <laughs> I don't know. I, I, it wasn't even like a party where like, okay, everybody's going to kiss everybody at this party. It just seemed to be that at this party, everybody was kissing. <laughs> yeah, there's something about this conversation that we're having, sitting cross-legged in a strip mall, that is just like, I am 14 again. <laughs> like, it just blasts. I was like, the shame that people are I just kissed like there. five or six people at do that party. Do you not? Wait, I'm sorry. <laughs> something, age regressed. something has happened. I'm, do you not? How do you come up with this list without counting in your head and, and, and imagining each you know, one? You just make a guess? I make an aggregate guess based on the last time I think I thought about it, which was probably college. <laughs> right? But I don't uh, know. Yeah. But if, if I don't count in my head, I don't know. I'm going to count. If I take the number of people. One. <laughs> two. two. Okay. And was it good? Was number two good? And it's two. Two was quick. <laughs> two was quick? Quick little kiss. <laughs> two for me two was, was after same. Driver's Ed. Two was the same. Oh. Whoa. Not really the mood of Driver's Ed, but it's no. always the mood when you want it to be. One for me was uh, in the photo booth at the mall. <laughs> Three, <laughs> two, four. Okay, I remember four, five, six. I don't like you thinking <laughs> about it. I don't remember the locations of you know? like. I'm trying to go chronologically in my head. On the lips. I mean, I don't remember where I was. Eight, nine. I'm Is trying that... to go chronologically in my head. Ugh. So I don't, so I'm trying to go each era. How of my old life. are you at nine? Right now at nine. Yeah, at nine kisses. How old are you? Oh my gosh, high sure. school. <laughs> okay, cool. Wow. I remember going to a teen rave. And it was just lips out. Yeah. <laughs> I did that too. Ten. It was tongues out, and I walked up, and this girl goes, and we were kind of macking. It was like, because I went to a private school, 40 kids in my class. I didn't go see outside kids, and a lot of these kids were sort of like my siblings because they gone to school for yeah. so long. We went to an outside 11. of school teen rave. Total? <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm, in, oh, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm remembering oh. each one. And we went, and I was like, oh my God, this is what other schools are like. And then it was just making out. Everyone was making out, and it was very overwhelming for me. Did you make out with multiple people that night? I did. Oh, that's yeah. fine. And it was like yeah. me and this one girl waking out, and then her friend, she was Ooh, like, 12. my friend Good, wants to also. And then it was like, oh, my God, is this what <laughs> like life is going to be <laughs> is this like college? now? Is this what college is like? It was actually on the college campus. It was like near the college campus and it's underneath a bank wow. in a teen Whoa. rave that was Holy like for teens. Shit. Yeah, let's talk about teen raves, because that's weird. Who's putting those on? But Weirdos. Yeah. <laughs> Who's being like, I would love to DJ the teen rave. We got to give the these teenagers a place to Mac. Yeah, it was yeah. Mac City. It was really overwhelming. No alcohol. No alcohol. Yeah, I don't think there, I didn't see any when I was there. No, I was not drunk. No. no. Me and my friends got drunk stone elsewhere. Cold but sober yeah. at the teen rave. You didn't need to be drunk. The adrenaline, the 13. hormones. Thir yeah. 13. It's the power of Christ. 13 is unlucky. Was she unlucky for you? Or he? Or they? Uh, well, I don't, I don't, I think I've broken chronology at this point. Zach's yeah, brain gonna, is broken. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. I'm the gonna one put you a cap about. on on on. Uh, we're gonna move on to the next chapter. Yeah. Oh my. Fourteen. Oh my god. What the fuck does this mean? 
I don't like you recounting them, and I can see you in Zach's head. By the way, if you're listening to the audio, Zach's licking his lips as he I'm thinks about each one. Lips. He's going. As if he can still taste them. I mean, this is the sort of thrilling content, I guess. For it the is listeners. really good. Zach slowly counted. <laughs> well, we already counted. <laughs> your- <laughs> we should just edit all of his. Brian, this is Zach trying to count to twenty. <laughs> <laughs> it's Zach, li- live footage of Zach learning how to count. Yeah, it's so fucking funny. 13, That's so funny. Fifteen. <laughs> I think that for me, twenty. How I far away from Maggie are you? I, oh, <laughs> <laughs> we've got some time. Now, are you counting me because we've kissed? Twenty-one. There you go. <laughs> okay, let's think about what other sub- segments we've got. This, no, no, let's think about what, <laughs> no, what no, we're going to cut from this episode Randy. and what's good. This from is the, the man on the street people wanted. Us sitting on the ground and talking about <laughs> kissing people in high school. <laughs> <laughs> this is what they want. And by the way, ask me how many of those mattered. You won. One. The true love, Maggie. One. Oh, I don't know. I mean, you guys are all well. I feel like they matter. Even if you, they don't. They all matter. They're all cumulative. It's all yeah. love that was lost, love that was spilled, love that was shared. Yeah. All love is important as it it, it gains you to who you are the next time. And sometimes you have to kiss someone to know if you do like them. Yeah. If that's there true. is a spark there. To know if they taste funny. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I remembered another one, and that person did taste what funny. Did, what did they taste like? Wrong. Yeah. Oh, it was like a Some hormone s- thing. Like sometimes, a sometimes pheromones, pheromones are pheromones. just off. No, not for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was it the lady that walked by or yeah, something was, else? Zach said she tasted funny, and the woman walked by with her purse. And I, she's an adult, but so are we. But what we're Barely doing though. is sitting on the ground. I am so deluded. I, I, every time something bad happens, I'm like, well, maybe I look close enough to 17 that somebody thinks that I'm a kid. I'm old enough to be the president. Whoa. Yeah. Are you thinking about running? I was thinking maybe I should because I don't think anyone else is going to. I'm going yeah, to so an- like- go anonymous mode for uh, for the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> no if we saw someone you. we knew, by the way. I'm not me. I'm Klaus. <laughs> I work for Strike Guys. I'm Klaus. I'm Klaus. Klaus. We were recording. Uh, we have this new show called Trolley Problems that we're trying. And one of the questions was about everyone that you've ever kissed. And Johnny Cakes goes, like, does that include cousins? And it was the most innocent, like, it was like your mom, your uncle. Uh, it was so innocent. So fucking funny. So funny. Um, and right now, when, I don't know when this is coming. We're, we're in the middle of pilot month on the channel. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's been a lot of fun experimentation. Uh, and every week, you see this little segue I'm doing? I'm getting really really nice. We're promoing. Yeah, promoing. Really good. Turning into self-promo. Yeah. <laughs> but we have... Um, uh, right now, like, every week we're trying out new formats. And we, we really intentionally, we went into them... Uh, kind of light to test things and see how they feel before we really invest in them as shows and see what like mm-hmm. you guys, the audience, think of them as shows. Mm-hmm. But we got some freaking heaters. There's some Ooh. heaters in there. There's like I think there's one that I know, Grand Slam. It's it, yeah, maybe one of the best shows that we've made out the gate. Yeah, huge. There's some others that haven't been edited yet, but even if they're half as good as the experience was, it's a Grand Slam. There are three to me that are like. Direct to series, yeah, and like with just just because like oh big dog on fun on them, yeah, and and then the other ones like all have strong potential, mm-hmm. but the nice. one that Keith's talking about is called Escape the Kitchen. Yeah, we turned super funny. Yeah, we turned a like a cooking show into an escape room, mm-hmm. and so to get each hint, you had to do some cryptic puzzle or riddle. It feels That's so funny. big, yeah, out the gate. It just is like oh wow, I'm watching a show. Yeah, yeah. it's good. Oh, to get a step so of the great. recipe, you have, you have to game like shows. do a, a Sudoku. No, like well, m- more complex than more that. More like oh, okay, okay. I, there's some that could end up being like that because if this goes to series, you're going to have to have hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands, of puzzles. So yeah, I, yeah right. I could imagine Sudoku entering the game. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I'll, I'll tell you the first one so that it's like not. It, there was a, a riddle, and it was like, "Oh my gourd!" And I'm like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" That and was what, a, oh. and what I was supposed to do. It's me and Popkin in the kitchen, but separately at the, like different times. Yeah, is there was a pumpkin, and I was supposed to carve inside, <gasps> and inside was a laminated <gasps> strip of a recipe. Oh my god! And, and so I like took the pumpkin, smashed it on the <gasps> ground. And, and found then, the clue. Yeah. It is was that's so exciting, exhilarating. Yeah. Whoa. It was Jared left that, and he texted me, and he's like, "I would have paid a lot of money to be able to do that." Oh, yeah. that's so. It's fun. an escape room. 
Yeah, and then you I get a little treat that you make at the end. And people, yeah, and basically, that, well, that's part of escaping is you. Not only do you have to get the clues to be able to make it, you have to actually execute the clues correctly to make the thing that you're trying to figure out in the kitchen. So it's oh. it's a little oh. bit escape room, a little bit cooking comedy show, uh, but it's also cryptic. There's like a robot voice narrator. It's really quite good. Then that's there's so a couple exciting. game shows. There's uh, well, I guess there's. A lot of things that are game shows. One is like a really non-traditional game show, but I guess at the end of the day, it's, it's a game show. You're talking about Charlie Problems? Uh, no, I'm talking about uh, Drop in the City. It's a game uh, show. Oh, that's a it's like a board game. Right. It's a game show. It's it's a game reality show almost. We turned, It's a big world reality game show. I think we talked about this a little bit, but we turned Las Vegas into a 12-hour oh, scavenger. Yeah, hunt. yeah. yeah that's that's right. also really fun. And, yeah. and we had like a gamification to it where Keith and I were on teams against each other. We had to check in every three hours. Mm -hmm. uh, and if I did something, like they all had different point values, right. he had to cross it off his list I and couldn't vice do versa. It. So, like, there was a lot of strategy of, like, okay, if we go for this, then he can't, like, he won't want to come to this whole region cause, like, because, like, you've out, done He's taken out the, the most expensive point value item there, so it makes the whole journey to that place worthless. That's so fun. Yeah, it was a blast and super cool and such a great way to do travel content where, mm -hmm. like, I came out of that loving Vegas. Yeah. yeah. I I'd never liked Vegas before, and I was like, this is the coolest fucking place. We didn't do anything Vegasy. Yeah. We just were looking for yeah, experiences. We, we just gambled. We gambled. You put it all on black. We did. We did. <laughs> that was one of, the, one of the things. We played craps for the first time. Oh, I've always been scared to play craps. Me too, but you know what I did? And this is honestly great. This game made me do. Is I just went to the table, and I looked at the guy who was like, there's multiple people running the craps game for some reason. Yeah. I said, I've never played this game before. Could you yeah. help me out? to play for the first time. Oh, that's great. And he was like, yeah, of course. Yeah. And like, they just helped me out because they want to take my money. Yeah. And uh -huh. they, they want me to be confident in the game and do actually kind of well so that I lose way more money eventually. Mm -hmm. yeah. My favorite moment is I, I had to play slots. I had to win a certain amount of money on slots. Most of them were not gambling related, but these two stories Yeah, there are. was like five that could have been gambling. Uh, and I, I'm playing slots with these darling old women uh, uh, you know, seven. She was celebrating her seventieth birthday. She's teaching me how to play, and they're like, "So, what are you, you guys, filming? What are you doing?" We, Johnny, Johnny Cakes is explaining to them the whole thing, and all of a sudden, she, we look over, and one of the women is like, "I'm watching your video right now," Aww. and we're like, "Oh, that's sweet. What is it?" And she holds <laughs> it up, and she goes, "It's, it's called What Happened." You look bored. <laughs> And I go, oh, I, that's <laughs> so fucking funny. I go, lady, I wasn't bored. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I'm watching oh. the video. I'm, look, I'm giving you a view. She wasn't into it. She didn't like. The, she didn't care for the video. Yeah, I, I don't agree. like it. That's I agree. A hilarious <laughs> thing to say to someone. No, I'm I don't for this. like you. Yeah, but those those two are really fun. I mean, we we hope that we've we've got some real winners in mm -hmm. that in that batch. Yeah. Things we've been cooking up for a while. Hell yeah, King. Yeah, that was a pretty good segue, huh? Yeah, that was really, really good. Really good. And before we do the next segment, um. <laughs> So I'm thinking about this place, and I feel like the what I really am thinking about is what do you think that you guys and we can do a speed round. What have you learned in the last six months, Keith? I uh, I don't know. <laughs> I've got one. <laughs> okay, well don't brag. I don't know. All right, go to Miles. The man is spiraling. Let him spiral. I don't know. What have I done better? And what have you learned? What have I learned? Um, I've I know I can read. Henry's body language pretty well and when he needs to nap and when he's hungry and what he wants. I think I can understand his communication. He's also gotten better at communicating. That's very exciting. That is really exciting. Probably. Miles! He's your teacher. <laughs> What's literally good, YouTube? Uh, a big six months. I've had a huge six months, kind of. I think I've gained confidence in myself. My son has started running around, which is kind of crazy. Mm. It's been a really crazy, uh, yeah. wild ride. The thing I've learned, I think, the most is just that, like, uh, the important stuff is the important stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, mm. the stuff that you think is going to be important is the important stuff, and the stuff that's not important is not important. Wow. And that it's, like, spending time with your family is important. Spending time with your friends is important. Like, all that kind of stuff. And then the thing that you're worried about being important, that you're, like... I'm so stressed about this thing. Often that is not the yeah. most important thing. Yeah. It has been a huge six months for all of us. That's right. Like, you left. I took your job. Yeah. Um, I feel like my thing, it's a little sad, but it's also not sad, is I feel like I've been just, I used to be so scared of death, mm. and now I'm like 10% 
less scared of it. That's great. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> Speak on that. That's Do you think good. that that's because you feel more at peace or something else? Yeah, well, I've been talking to a bunch of people. So my dad had a health thing in mm -hmm. the summer and he's, mm. it's, it seems, knock on wood, knock on wood, he seems like he's okay right now. Yeah. And then I had a foster kitten who died. So it was yeah. just sort of like a lot of like Aww, coming I to- I know that. Yeah. It was that really sad. sad. Yeah, yeah, it's really hard. It's really sad. That is sad. Um, and so it's been like a lot of like, okay, like deal with it now. Um, as opposed to like putting it off because I'm too scared of it. Mm -hmm. I've been talking to a lot of people and a lot of people aren't scared of it at all. They're just like, you know, I it's okay. It's, I, I don't know what's going to happen, but I think it's okay. And I'm like, that's... Oh, I don't feel that way, but... Yeah, I know. It's so interesting I'm terrified. that... Um, <laughs> yeah, It's out of your too. hands. Yeah. Al although, you know what I'll say is I, I, that, I think that that's a great perspective and it's mm -hmm. very calm and, calming and like probably a, a very zen way to live. Mm -hmm. I find that my fear of death is because things are so good. Yeah. Like, I'm like, oh wow, I'm mm -hmm. soaking it up. Like, I want to keep doing more of this, yeah, for as long as possible. I don't because lose who knows? This. I mean, it'll be a different adventure at the end. Yeah. But yeah. I think that that's oh. like uh, when things are really good, mm -hmm. I get immediately anxious. Oh yeah, me too. So like, I'll have like a big cool meeting or like a big success or a mm -hmm. video will do well or something, and I'll be like, oh wait, but oh everything's falling apart, and it's like, no, I think I get scared when things are going well mm. yeah. because it's like. It's the sign that, oh, this is so good, I don't want to lose it. Yeah, it's, oh, success is scarier than failure. That's what it is, where you've just got such a further way to fall. There you go. Yeah. Whoa. Wisdom spilled on the ground outside of an abandoned <laughs> clothing store. Next to your spilled turmeric. Turmeric. That's right. Yeah. What do you think? What did you learn? I was thinking more along the lines of, like, I learned a new technique in Photoshop. <laughs> God, Zach. Yeah, we learned how to make thumbnails different. Uh, it's not going well. It's not been good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we tried it because uh, yeah, everyone cool. everyone said it would do perform better for us. And and it does, okay. it's I feel like it's actually going, the opposite going worse. Our audience is like, "What is it? Is? This yeah. doesn't look like your videos." And anymore. And I changed it a million times. And then I look back a couple days later and go, "What the fuck even is this anymore?" Yeah. Um, I just googled fun fact of the day. Did you know bananas are technically herbs? And I learned that what herbs? I thought they were berries. I thought they were me. This in is botanical okay. terms, <laughs> bananas qualify as yeah. You know, if you click it, it says that they're berries. <laughs> but they the, say it's herbs? The Google Reek, thanks AI. I learned that AI is for hacks. Uh, <laughs> Correct. Um, I also, I feel like I'm relearning things all the time. And I think one of the focuses of my last six months has been relearning the idea that the process is more important than the result. Oh, yeah. Mm. Absolutely agree. You have to enjoy the ride. Yeah, it doesn't matter what you achieve. It just matters that you're trying to achieve it. Oh, yeah, mm. but simply by having goals makes you more successful in the long run. That's I, from Meg Day at PhD. PhD. There you go. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I, uh, Sex yeah. crime. <laughs> I <laughs> ran is, into yeah. um, uh, Lily Singh the other day. I, I saw her at the farmer's market. She says, hey, by the way. Hey. Um, hey, Lily. <laughs> your farmer's market is a big place, I feel like. It's You've a, got the amazing it's a olive good, bread. It's a good one. It's a good yeah. one. Yeah, if you want to see the, see the sights. Yeah. I'll be going. Uh, <laughs> but she was telling me what she's up to, and, like, and we were... It was a very quick conversation, but very heavy for a farmer's market Sunday morning. Yeah. Mm. Uh, but she was talking about she's got a, a film that's premiering at South by Southwest. Really excited to see it. Wow. And, and she was saying that she's like working on all these new things, but still feeling this pull of the Internet. And yeah. then she has to check herself and go, why am I trying to achieve and reachieve things I've already done 75 times. That's a really good Why point. am I trying uh -huh. to relive and play out patterns again and again mm. just to remind myself that right. I matter and right. as opposed yeah. to stri striking out and trying new things. Yeah. Oh, that's a really good point. Uh, and it's so a pattern that she's been trying to break and I, I really resonated with that. I thought that was cool. Uh, that's really yeah. cool. And I think it's like a good lesson for any type of success. Like once you get it, you've got it and mm -hmm. it's good to strike something new instead of just trying to be like, trying to hold on to it. Let me hit the same drum as hard as I did before, you mm -hmm. know, yeah. especially with algorithms and stuff. It's a nightmare. Yeah. Well, if you want advice... You know what to do. It's advice that'll go for miles. Tune it to your radio station. It's advice that'll go for miles. Everyone get ready. Miles Nation. Miles Nation. Go. It's advice that'll go for miles. Advice that'll go for miles. What's up, Miles Nation? Do you want to be a little botanist like in the movie The Martian? Yes, oh, yeah. Dude, I want to be a botanist so hard, Miles. Matt Damon's a guy who has herbs to have. 
Bananas or herbs, maybe? Fact check that for us, please. <laughs> but what if I told you that you could go to the grocery and have a nursery? The f- number five sandwich at Sprouts. I heard it's really good. Oh. Nurseries are a place where plants are growing, and I'm asking you to go down to the vegetable aisle. Mm-hmm. And they say that I've got an onion. A green onion. Oh, I love green onions. Put a green onion in a glass of water and you'll have unlimited green onions. For the hack. rest of your life until yeah. you go on green vacation onion and then glitch. it overgrows and then, yeah. then you got to throw it away and start over. Green yep. onion glitch because I have green onions by the pound full in my windowsill in the kitchen. In the yeah. kitchen, just the kitchen on the windowsill. Growing nonstop. You just got to change the water every once in a while, but then the green onions just keep on going you up. You just trim them. You, you do have to change the water. It gets trim them and eat them. You got to trim the water and trim and eat them, and then you got green onions forever. They make food out of nothing. They move food out of nothing. Out of nothing. It's, it's really, fucking mm. sunlight and water. It's, it's kind not of nothing. Very cool. It's called photosynthesis. It's photosynthesis. crazy, though. It turns into real food without like any worms or nothing. No, there's no worms in there. They don't have to eat any worms. They don't even have to eat any worms. My lesson is typically like, yeah, buy green onions once and you eat for a lifetime. Teach That's a man to green onions you and you eat for me of a miles. lifetime. Yeah. What's up? That's what you remind me of. What? The worm from Dune. Oh my god. You think that I remind you of the worm from Dune? I would Dune? be crying right now, Miles. I can't believe you're, you're being brave. through the sand, <laughs> living on the land. We gotta get that spice. That spice would be nice. It's a tripod. Yo! Have a good is, ass is week. Is this dollar up for grabs? 